Hello and welcome to Python for everybody once again. Right now we are on the module uh, about using Python to access web data. The web data that we will be accessing today is um, the XML data from a URL. So if you would go to the developer version of a web page, this would actually would come out for the XML files. As you can see, they're just a bunch of XML codes and stuff. Okay, it don't make sense, but technically it's a tree of data. Uh, it goes something like this. There's a comment section, and within the comment section, uh, there's name, where you, you have two items actually, you have name and count. So, just imagine a tree that has one child, and then that child uh, birthed to two more child. One is uh, the name child, or the name branch, and then the count branch. So what we need to do is to extra uh, extract those data. Where is it? It's just near... So, you need, we need to look for the comment tags. So there it is, comment tags, and then underneath that there's account tags, and there's values of numbers in there, we need to sum, sum those numbers up, and then we are technically going to get the uh, the, the sum, the value, uh, total value of the sum, or if you add those numbers up, so it is. So the program is supposed to go to this website, first it's going to prompt us to go to this website, so we're going to put in this uh, URL, once it goes to that URL, it's going to scan through the item, go through this first line of tag here, comment tag, comments tag, and then go to the second line, comment, wherein you got two more tags. Uh, we are interested in this count tag, the numbers in the middle of that count tag, we are going to get all of those numbers, add them up, and get this up. Okay, first thing first, all we need to do, since we uh, are now going to uh, grab data from a web page, unlike what we used to be doing, uh, where we're just simply grabbing data from that is locally stored in our system, this time we'll be needing some uh, library functions that would allow us to uh, perform um, parsing and accessing data from uh, another system or another, um, from a different server rather. So we need to import those capabilities from our library. We're putting import URL library request request and then URL library um the parse then URL library dot error and then we need to import the XML since we will be pulling up on the developer developer um, part of the browser. We are going to be interested not on the actual um, content of the browser, but the content of the developer side, which is the XML side. So if you would go to a browser, this is how it would look look like. So like for instance, you go here. Let's pop something, okay? For instance, you go here. You go to the developer side. Developer tools. Need to refresh that. There, this is the developer part, and we are basically concerned about this. So you get response. It's not loading at this moment. There you go. Headers. This is the preview. There. You see those are. You see those tags there. Those are the part that we will be looking at on this topic right here. So let's close that up for the time. Come back there. And that's what we'll be doing. So XML dot dot s e d. All right, let's save this first. Oh, here's my cursor. We'll be accessing between two systems. We're going to be needing SSL. SSL is um, basically it is a it is a secure socket layer. It's technically it's a standard protocol or standard technology that secures your data. If you will be transferring data or uh, communicating data between two systems, just like what we're going to be doing right now, we are going to get these data, uh, parse them, and then do something that would require that is required in order for us to only get what we need. SSL basically um, what it does is it gives security of those data. So that in between transmission, no one could access it instead of uh, both hands that are talking, both, both server. We're not going to be needing it right now. So we are going to create a program that basically ignores it. We're not transmitting any important or um, 
data that shouldn't be shared publicly anyway. Okay, so these are all going to be the parameters that SSL certificates has to go through for the verification. So SSL uh, create. I'm going to be doing that third line right there. We're going to be putting billing there. So let's just go ahead on the next line, ctx.check, host name. That's going to be false since what we're trying to do here is we are ignoring security parameters. CTX. Dot verify. Verify mode. There you go. Equals to SSL. Dot. Got the web. Certificate nine. There. So let's caption it. Ignore. SSL. Okay. Okay. Now going into the fourth where we are going to be prompted for a URL as usual. We're going to be naming it as address. Put in the function here for the input. And let's name the program center URL. So once you get prompted for URL, let's name it as UH for the command that would open that whatever URL you will be putting in there. URL library. Uh, request dot URL open. Uh, we are opening the whatever that's been and turning the address and opening a URL from other system or server to prompt us for a security. So I'm going to enter context is equals to ctex. Equals to ctx. As you can remember, ctx here would ignore the um, security parameters for SSL. So there. Now we are going to put this into a list. I'm going to name the list data. So new h dot read that into a data. Turn it into a list. Now let's test that. Print. All right, actually, there's one left here. And then, yeah, we'll be testing it. Python space, you know, the file or the program is so you can find it. So it is ex.py. There we go. There. Those are the Yes, it actually just printed it for us. Basically, it just print everything we have here. But that's not what we want, remember? We need just the numbers right there. So we're going to go through each of these tags. First, uh, we're going to go to comments. And then from comments, there's comment. And then there's two sub tags under comment. We're going to be needing the count tag and the number in between that count tag. So that's what we're going to do for us to be able to do that. Okay, instead of using this text editor here, which basically doesn't tell us any error message unless we run it during the program, we're going to be using an IDLE system here. So this is where we, we're going to be continuing on. Now, uh, we're going to be needing this now because we are going to create a tree. So element, this is element tree. Let's see, D there. Okay. And then I create a tree. So ET, remember, we, we uh, create a variable here for the library. Um, function that would allow us to convert the, the element in the XML, uh, the data from a URL, XML data in the URL into a tree. So this is where we're going to be using it. So et dot from, from string data where we are getting this data right here. So whatever that we have been converted into this here, it's going to be converted now into a tree from string. Okay. All right. And then we are going to go down to its tag once we created a tree. This is now a tree. We're going to go down to the level of each tags here. Okay. So result, let's name it as result equals to tree dot find all. Find all. There you go. Then comment slash. Oh no. Should be comments first. Then comment. All right. So what does here is create a tree. We go from here, we go from here. Now we're gonna go down to the sub tags here. We are gonna be needing this tag, the count tag. We're gonna be putting it in inside a, uh, inside a loop. So, let's create four item inside the result because we got so many information there, so many tags that's gonna be placed inside a tree. So we are gonna be uh, naming them item, each one of them. So let's make something temporary. Temporary is equals to uh, item.find. So now we're telling this loop 
uh, argument to find the sub tag to the third level, which is count. Remember, this is the tag that's closest to what we need to count. Then we're going to be needing the text value. So uh, we are putting in that txt right outside. So let's see what's going to come up. Let's try printing that. TMP. Uh, oh, no, it's print. There we go. Double drag. I gotta fix that. Save it. Now let's try to run this. Okay, we're gonna be needing the URL. There you go. So it printed all the values for us. After it printed this, a bunch of uh, tags right here. But let's hide them instead of that. So instead of that, let's say, let's put something to this effect. Let's put a tag that says, it's trying to retrieve something. Retrieving, retrieving. The length of data. There you go. So instead of giving us all these bunch right here of tags, let's just gonna have it uh, summarize the tag numbers or the numbers of tags for us. So let's try that one more time. Alright, the URL. There you go. So it says there's 4,189, uh, well, tags or characters. Uh, and these are all the numbers. We just extracted them. Remember, we only need this number 97, 97, 90, 88, 87, so on and so forth. These are all the numbers 97, 97, 90, 90, 88, 87, so on and so forth. But remember, we need to add them all up. We need to sum them all up. See? Uh, we need to parse and extract those numbers, those counts. And then, um, where is it? It actually says that. Uh, so you have to look for the count tags, and the count tags, there's count values. Sum the numbers. Okay, sum the numbers. All right, so I don't want to sum them up. In order for us to do that, we are, let's create something in here. As a variable zero. Okay, so this will do the counting for us. As it loops, instead of, you know, uh, printing each of the, uh, um, each of the numbers individually for us, it's what it's going to do is it's going to add them up for us. So what we have to do, both. we can put them all up in the air and then add them. So let's try that. Uh, so num is equals to num plus converting that temp into integer, of course, because that's a text which can be, you know, processed using a mathematical operator. So we need to convert it into a uh, integer. So there it is. It's going to print the temp for us. And also, let's see if it's going to add it up for us. Print. Print the value of no. Okay, let's save it. Let's run the file. See the URL again. There you go. It added up for us. All these numbers here has been added. The total is 2553. And according in here, we got it correctly. 2553. Five, now we're going to be doing this. Let's see if we are going to get the sum that ends with the number 11. So let's try that. It's basically the same uh, uh, same logic, uh, same data that we're going to parse. This is just the actual uh, data. Let's see how that works. Okay, the number shows up. 98, 96, 95. 98, 96, 95, 94, so on and so forth. And according in here, the sum total is 2,711. According to our assignment, it should end with a number 11. So let's see if that will work now. Let's answer it as 2,711. Okay, right. And then, right, this is actually what we need to, re to uh, replicate. Uh, we need to have these showing up as well. And of course, it should show the URL that we just entered. Like it's retrieving the apps or something, and then it has retrieved the characters, and then it's gonna count all of the uh, tags. So, in order for us to do that, we got it pretty much done here, except for this one needs to be changed to come on, retrieve. Print statement here. Print 
Oh, this is the retrieving part. Retrieving. Okay. And the address. All right. And then it should do the count for us. So for the counting, it should be right under here. Let's write another print statement. It should be in this count. The length of. We're just going to be doing the length of the result. There we go. I guess that's pretty much it. Let's use the test data first. Where is it? This is the test URL for the test data. Let's run our code. Okay, enter the test data. There we go. 4,100 data and characters into 5 characters count 50 and then 2553. As it says here anyway, it's 2553. So we replicated that. Did we replicate that? 4189, yes we did. Okay. Retrieve. Okay, we don't need that going right here. Save it. Oh, we need to put in the word sum. Um, for the num. There you go. Alright, we are ready to submit this. Let's submit the code. Before we do that, let's make sure we get it. Let's run the actual data first. Actual data here. Okay, so there's 2,711, and the code, oh, where is it? Okay, submit that, all right, and accepted it. So pretty much that's it, that's how you retrieve XML data from URL. I'll be able to follow on through the codes every day.